Hi again, Bernie Maloney of Powered by Teams with another short video with tips for your job search. If you haven't already, one of the things I recommend you do is go to this URL and pull down the PDF of all of the tips that I'm going to be sharing in these videos. Print it out, have it available as you go through so that you can take notes. Um, you're going to find things that I say in these videos that may not be captured in the written form. Now, this video is going to be about tips for when you get the interview. And what I'm going to hope to do here is take your interview skills from the ordinary to the extraordinary with a couple of pretty easy tips that you'll be able to apply. If you haven't already, I do recommend you go watch the video on networking first, because by working with your network, by building your network, by seeking those recommendations, that's going to help you come in the side door and get more interviews that are closely aligned with what you want to be seeing. So let's step in and take a couple of looks at tips for the interview itself. Okay, as you sit down to interview, you can anticipate some of the questions that they're going to ask. So the first thing I recommend, and you've probably heard it from job search coaches, is prep some short stories. Think about two minutes that speak to your experience and abilities in situations for some of these the questions that you can anticipate. Now, you can frame up those stories in terms of talking about here's the problem, here's the solution that I came forward with, and here was the result. So that's one way of framing up the stories. Or you may have heard of a star format for stories. Both of them are good. The thing about stories is they really demonstrate your abilities in context versus simple yes, no answers. People are getting a sense, a deeper feel for how you might fit in the organization, how you might actually behave based on your own self-reported past behavior. So wherever you can, try and answer with a story. Now, when you get asked those questions, um, let's take your skills up a notch. Um, most people, when they're asked a question, they answer right away. The first thing I recommend you do is pause. Really. They'll probably give you five to 10 seconds. Now, you can also ask for pause. Let me think about that a second. And clarify their question. You know, as I think about that, were you kind of looking at X? Were you kind of looking at Y? So you can get an idea of what they're looking at. And here's a great one. Offer them two options for your answer. You're tuning their question. You're already starting to demonstrate an ability to inspect and adapt as you go through the interview to their unconscious mind. So offer them a couple of options before you actually answer. That'll help you get closer to what they're really looking for. Now, um, when you do answer, tell your story, okay? And if you do that, that's what most people do. That's a C grade. Let's take it up a notch. So when you tell your story, okay, as you conclude it, one of the things I recommend you do is what I learned from that was, and then give a sentence or two about what you learned from that experience. That takes your grade from a C to a B. Let's take your grade up to an A. Okay. Then conclude with what I might do differently. It's really rare for candidates to do this unprompted. But what it does is it sends an unconscious signal to your interviewer that you know about inspect and adapt. And particularly if you're interviewing in Agile, that's really powerful because that's what Agile is founded on. You're demonstrating that you've got this inherent leaning towards applying Agile in pretty much every situation because you're relating it with every answer. Now, always check that your answer has addressed the question or the point that your interviewer was raising. So did that speak to your question? They may say no. And this gives you an opportunity to clarify things and you get a second shot at answering the question possibly. Overall, these questions at the end, here's what I learned, here's what I might do differently, and does that speak to your question, demonstrates that inspect and adaptability because what you're really doing with your interview, you're trying to generate a collaborative discussion back and forth. You're trying to get your interviewer 
to see that you already know what you're doing in situations like this, that you have those abilities and skills from your past experience. So these tips will really take your interview from the ordinary to, I would say, the top one to five percent of people that I see when I'm interviewing. Okay, so that gets you some tips on going through the front door, both with presenting your resume and with interviewing in this video. If you liked these, please share the video. Tell your friends about it. Okay. And if you'd like to get in touch with me, my students who've been through my classes know that I make a couple of offers, and those stand. If you'd like to get in touch with me, here's my contact information. So uh, I really do hope to see you in the next interview, or sorry, not interview, but video, um, where I'm going to share some tips for how do you get in the back door? How do you become the identified candidate even before the position comes open? Let's go take a look.